When buildings come down, the height of the rubble pile that remains is about 12% of the building's original height. For example, when the King Dome was demolished, the rubble pile was about 30 feet high, roughly 12% of its original height of 250 feet. The Twin Towers of the World Trade Center in New York stood 110 stories tall, but when they came down on 9-11, they didn't topple over. They came straight down. Given what is known about rubble piles, we would expect the pile for each tower to be about 12% of its original height. 12% of 110 stories equals 13.2 stories. However, the lobbies of the Twin Towers were the equivalent height of three normal stories. So, the expected rubble piles at ground zero should have been about 10 stories higher than the lobbies, and should have buried them. This is ground zero on 9-11. The rubble pile is less than three stories high. Where has what should have been here gone? From this to this? Where did all that building material disappear to? Well, here is a clue. Almost all of the material in this dust cloud came from the Twin Towers. In fact, Manhattan, as well as an extensive area surrounding the island, was covered in fine dust from the Twin Towers. This dust is the missing material from Ground Zero. But what could have caused two buildings made of steel and concrete to turn into a dust so fine that it became suspended in mid-air to then be carried away by the winds? Certainly not ordinary office fires, whether or not they were started by burning jet fuel. Even a conventional controlled demolition does not turn most of a building into fine dust. So the question is, what on earth happened to the Twin Towers on 9-11?